Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. Really appreciating you taking time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. So thank you in advance. Now we're doing some more tactical RPGs and I wanted to show you this one because this is probably for me personally the hardest tactical RPG. And if I, uh, as I go through the video, you'll see why. This is XCOM. Now we are doing the I guess the re relaunch or remake of the original XCOM. So this is uh, Enemy Unknown, right? And of course, I had to play this game. It's it's uh, sci-fi, but it's tactical RPG. You create units, and basically, we are being invaded. We're being kidnapped. We are being cut off from each other communication-wise, and there's only one group that has the the resources and the risk-taking ability that can stand up to this alien menace, and it is the XCOM group, right? So that's what you manage, right? You're the commander of this group. You know, you are leading teams in the missions. Sometimes survival uh, expectations are very low. But as you keep playing and you develop your soldiers, they begin to get classes. They begin to get new skills and abilities. And at the same time, the alien invaders are doing the same. So like every mission, as you get better, they get better. They get better coordinated, better equipment, um, new enemy types. It's like almost every mission you felt like you were going against a new enemy type. On top of the fact that the game is really, really, really hard and is for for two reasons. Now, one, tactical wise, like the the enemy is very smart, like they try to flank you. They try to do things in order to give themselves the best position to win. Right. Makes sense. But also it is hard to hit things. If anybody's in cover, the accuracy rating goes from like, let's say, 80 percent down to a smooth 45. So like. You always have these low chances. And even when it says like your accuracy or your percentage chance is 85% and you shoot, there is still a good chance. I don't know what it is about this game. And I'm playing on Pee Wee just to show you, you know, let's try to show you as much as I can within a short time frame. And it was still not necessarily easy. And on top of the combat, though, you have to manage your resources. You have to decide when you finish a mission. You know, if people are hurt, they can't come back for at least a couple of days. And after like the first little bit of the story, there's always going to be a mission every few days. So you're not going to have time to let somebody recuperate and then put them back in the field. So you have to try to prepare your rookie units as much as you can. And some of them will die. It's just going to happen. But you're going to have to accept that it's your fault and you're going to have to, you know, memorialize them and move on. This is like one of the few games where like, the first time I started playing it, I'm like, all right, I'm going to take every, you know, new recruit and I'm going to make them one of my friends. or I'm going to make them, you know, some a character or something like that. I'm going to customize each person. Buddy, that is a that is a, a tough task to do because your friends are going to die if you name them after you. Like, it's just going to happen. Just sometimes things just don't work out well. You go into an area, you get ambushed. The game decided, you know what, this is an ambush level. Um or the game tells you to do something that's very difficult, like capture one of the specimens lives. Not a very easy task. You can do it, but you might you might lose a person or two. An escort mission, you know, trying to get this person over here so that they can give you this alien tech or, you know, give you resources or whatever it may be. Um, it's just the game is not for the weak hearted, but it is so rewarding when things work out well, when missions go according to plan, when things just kind of fall into place, when research yields very good results or you get a new building that you can make or you get new armor so that you know your people one it's harder to hit them but also they have more hp like there's all these things you have to constantly do in order to get the most out of your team and then sometimes if you're like me like you 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 take the wrong path and you <laughs> you run out of money and you just it's rough out here but you know it's it's one of those games where it's high risk high reward if you really want to try to beat the game you're gonna have to take some risk and you're gonna have to sometimes people are gonna be not necessarily sacrificed but missions are not gonna go exactly the way you think there are gonna be casualties especially after like the first four or five missions like the there's a difficulty spike and when it hits it hits but it's still a fantastic game second game in the series um i didn't appreciate the storyline that leads into the second game but i understand you know things just don't don't always work out the way we want them to but you know, this series has me always excited whenever, you know, I hear some XCOM content because it's, it's going to be at least solid, if not really good. So if you play this game, your thoughts on it, I know 
I'm not tripping when I say this is one of the more difficult tactical RPGs. If you speeding through this game, more power to you. Maybe you just you see it on a different level. You playing 4D chess and I'm playing checkers. I get it. But uh, it's tough to me. So I like to hear your thoughts on it. And I appreciate you letting me reminisce with you. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. Peace.